everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you easy way how you can make hidden paper clips. It's about two years when I made hidden paper clips for last time and since that hidden paper clips developed so much. There is a hundred amazing videos how you can make them easy way. So I'm gonna put my spin on all of these videos I watched through to last few days. And I hope you will enjoy it. It's very easy to do. And you can make also hidden paper clips with the tabs. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make them. Uh, here I made from my um, some wrong print when my printer kind of get, get rid of, I think, um, yellow color. So everything was printed in, <laughs> in purple. And it was so much fun to watch that actually. So I made my hidden paper clips and I decorate them with the stickers and with some numbers and as you can see uh, my paper clips are slide to the edge of the paper and I still have that tap around and then uh, I have created from some old wallpaper uh, print I have created for my gothic style journal these hidden paper clips and they are perfect also around the edges of the delays because you do have there beautiful space it will don't ruin your lace and it's very easy to slide it around because you do have a big amount of paper around so you can slide it there easily if you hold the lace yeah if you hold the lace just slide it around the lace and you can stop where the lace is stopping so you can make really beautiful paper clips and also, when I made last time hidden paper clips, I made digital design. I did the same. This time I designed a few paper clips with the tabs already made. And today I will show you how to, you can put them together. I do have a uh, forest style with beautiful images uh, related to the forest. Many mushrooms and many wild animals. And all of them are uh, with the small tap. And this one. And I do have also, I'm going to show you here, birds. I do have kind of like a grungy style. Here it's pre-folded all already. I do have grungy style with quotes in two different colors. In this white and black or black and white the uh, white then i do have roses then i do have kind of like uh, stationary uh, stationary adverts for upcoming easter i do have rabbits and for my love for typewriters i do have typewriters and i'm gonna show you how you can make it from any kind of paper and also how to put together uh, these designs I created. I'm gonna make uh, folding for five centimeters uh, big or two inches big paper clips, but it works the same way for small paper clips as well, or maybe bigger paper clips as well. But you will have to probably fold it this way for bigger one for really like large ones. This is folding for five centimeters uh, paper clips. Also, my design designs are working with smaller paper paper clips because you do have all scoring uh, designed, so you can fold it first and then slide the paper clips even smaller paper clips on this fold. I'm gonna show you how to make it and I'm making just because I both these <laughs> they are nice big but they, they do have that plastic coat which it's uh, it's ugly I uh, colored them many times with alcohol inks but this time I'm gonna just hit uh, hide these ugly paper clips into my paper I've got here 160 GSM A4 size paper I worry uh, ivory cardstock 160 i found it the, the most suitable for this project because uh, it's strong enough so you will don't see straight away that you have there uh, under that paper the paper clip 
when it's lighter paper uh, it's showing a very fast way i'm gonna show you here here i do have 80 gsm paper and as you can see it it does show very fast way that there is paper clip so it's not hidden anymore <laughs> so 160 it's perfect it's not too thick and it's not too light i'm gonna take my paper my pa uh, my printer is printing with this white uh, frame around but this time i'm not gonna bother to cut it off i'm just gonna use the distress inks and maybe some stamps here to to kind of cover that <laughs> difference so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna keep the print inside you can use one-sided print double-sided print you can use book pages glued together in the size uh, in the a4 size use anything you have i'm gonna fold it half and try it also with different sizes of papers i do believe you will find the way how it will work with different sizes of papers as well so i'm gonna fold it half you know eight by eight paper will be perfect for that it will be shorter here but it will be similar here so eight by eight paper pads you can use them for this project so fold it on half then grab your paper clips and as i said these are five centimeters slide few paper clips around the fold and uh, pay attention on the long side of paper clip and short side of paper clip you want to have the long sides long sides of paper clips on one side of the paper and short sides of paper clip on that opposite side of paper and then just slide few of your paper clips around that fold Then grab the edge of the paper and fold it around the edge or around the longer side of the paper clips. With this A4 size paper, it's kind of coming right to the middle, slightly over the middle fold. I'm going to show you just really slightly over the middle fold. So fold it here. Then flip it over and fold the paper around the edges of this shorter side of your paper clips. That's why you have them there to give you kind of like, you know, stopper for folding. Now I'm gonna take off my paper clips because I don't need them right now in there. gonna have a look if i did fold it my paper straight this it's my navigator if i do have it folded straight and i don't so i'm gonna <laughs> make it better So here we have the side which we just folded now uh, if you want to make a tap if you want to make a tap on your paper clip you just need to fold it the way uh, you just need to fold it the, the way the certain way so here you can see when I slide my my paper clip or this hidden paper clip over the edge of the paper it's stopping right now right here it means that this fold this middle fold it's right here and with this i'm gonna manage how big tap this one i will have here if you will fold this edge right over this fold you will end up with beautiful paper clips without tap so fold this edge of the paper with some kind of gap from the middle fold of your paper so you can just fold it maybe with half inch gap between and if you are not sure if you will fold it straight just grab your ruler 
pencil from the edge of this middle fold make a marks then put your ruler on these marks and use some uh, scoring tool like I do have here this scoring tool and just score that score that the line and that will help you to create your your top and where you did that score line you just fold the paper and to make sure that you make it right slide <coughs> one paper clip right here fold it hold it take some cardstock and slide the cardstock in there to the end and you will see how big top you created here over the edge so once you do have folded your paper this way cut it on strips use your scissors or if you are like me and you are not straight with cutting use guillotine and cut it on the pieces you want you they can be very wide so you can put there maybe some uh, image um, i mean some photo or they can be very narrow so you will have many of them so cut them on the pieces i'm gonna be using my guillotine and i'm gonna cut different sizes of this paper you can unfold it of course you don't have to cut it you know in that bunch once you do have all your strips <clears throat> if you are not sure that you will remember where to put your paper clip when you do have it folded this way just make the marks and you will see that uh, that this is longer side of paper clip so write it there long side and this one it's short side of the paper clip which you slide over the edge uh, over that fold you know when we folded the paper at the first time on the half so just write it there short side make small notes so then you you will know how to put your paper clip on the fold or where to put your paper clip on the fold and once you do have these strips you can use some paper punch and cut the corners on this small fold now i'm gonna be using this and i will cut with this smaller one which will create beautiful top edging I'm gonna do same on all my pieces always where is this small fold and now I'm gonna flat all my papers and I'm gonna distress them and maybe I will uh, add some sewing some stitching on my, with my sewing machine on these long edges so I made my stitching all over not all over on these three sides on all of my pieces do have quite lots of him there. <laughs> so now I can start to decorate it it will be folded this way here in the middle of the paper this will go up this will go up and this will go around so I can start to plan how I will decorate it I can take any kind of labels and make a position of these labels on the pieces I want to see them I can take some stamps so if I will want to decorate all my pieces at the same time, I can first pre-fold how it will look like, then get up this piece and I know this will be on the longer side of my paper clip. I can see that with those foldings, so this will be visible on the longer side of my paper clip. And depends if I want to have the paper clip from the top of my page or from the side of my page, uh, that way I can decorate it. So I can open that and leave this spot I want to decorate here on the top I can do that with few of my strips for paper clips so I'm gonna take these three I can add there 
small labels different way so this I will have from the top of my journal page and I'm gonna grab one which will be from the side of my journal page and glue there some little labels distress them And I'm using same distress ink I used around the edges. So same distress ink to match it all together. I can take some stamps and make some stamping. I can also take some stickers and place some stickers on these spots and I don't mind that some of these stickers are larger I can always cut it around so if I will put this one here Then I can take that off cut and place it somewhere else. So that will be one side of my paper paper clips and then I can fold it again kind of realize where I am to help myself then flip it this way so I know this I want to decorate now so I'm gonna make a position on all of my strips the way they should be and here it will be the same. I'm gonna fold it together. There will be paper clip. So I know it will be on that next side. Here will be page. So on that next side it will be this way. And I can start decorate that opposite side. And for distress ink I'm using today uh, Spectrum Noir Distress Ink or Water Reactive Dye Ink. From Harmony Line, this is a seal brown. I like that color a lot.
And again, I'm going to take some butterflies and place them on these spots. Once you do have your base decorations done, just grab the paper clip, grab the paper, fold it on half, slide your paper clip the right way. So here I do have shorter side, here I do have longer side. So long side of paper clip will go in there, short in there. Lift it up. And now you should decide uh, if you want to have this over the edge here or if you want to have it glued kind of like inside this way. And I want to have it this way. So I'm going to get up my glue. Put the glue on the sides here, here on the top. glue this first then I'm gonna fold this one over I'm gonna leave the strings outside to be visible now I'm gonna put the glue here and fold this over And let it dry. I can also take bone folder and on these sides I can kind of press it with my bone folder. So it looks like this. And because I know my paper clip starts right here. So I do have this space here free and I can add there uh, an eyelet. I do not have small eyelets. I do have only this. This is a six millimeters eyelet. So hopefully that will be not too big. I'm gonna give it a try. And I'm gonna place it I think on this side here. Where is this one? So I'm gonna punch there a hole. up my eyelet yeah like this and fix there an eyelet like this to make sure it's not sharp I'm gonna get up my players and a little bit squeeze it add there some ribbon lace or some string or you can take safety pin <coughs> pardon me and hang on that safety pin some charms. First small one, right? Then bigger one. And you can clip it to your paper clip. Like this. Then just grab your journal. And, <coughs> and slide it over the edge. So I do have done my paper clips. I added a few charms on these side paper clips and also you can add the charms on these top paper clips and it looks really beautiful. It's easy to make. So this way you can create your paper clips from any kind of paper. I do have a few designs where are already created score lines. You just need to score them and then fold them. So I'm going to show you what to do with these designs. I'm going to show you on a few of them. You're going to need ruler and some scoring tool. As I said, my printer is printing with the white, white frame. Here you can see the with the white frame around. So I already cut it off from my designs. That white frame here, I left it on the top, as you can see here. So just gonna grab my ruler, place it on the edge of the design. And with the knife, I'm gonna cut off that white frame. 
Then I'm gonna get up a ruler, scoring tool. You can use a dinner knife with that not sharp edge. Or thinning knife. And just score it here in the middle. Then another score line is right under the rabbits. It's very soft, but you can see that here is another score line. Here is another score line. And then on the bottom, it's just one score line here. So in these lines, try to score these designs. So I'm going to score them with my scoring tool here. Here and in the these pictures, I'm gonna fold first that middle one, then I'm gonna fold this address and burnish. And this one. And you can choose how you want to uh, glue this top one if over this edge or under this edge and you want to add there some stamping maybe or you know some stitching. It's totally up to you. So I'm going to fold this way all of my designed papers. So I do have all my designs pre-scored and I pre-fold it and it's always the same. Once you do have cut out the base all around, if you do, if your printer is printing that white frame, I mean, and you score these lines, there is one, two, three, four, four score lines. Then you fold it in the middle, then this way, and this is going around that smaller one, and this is going here. And most of these designs are designed that this tab is going first glued and then this going glued over once you have, you know, on those pieces. It's on most of these designs, I think. Oh, actually, all of them. <laughs> I'm gonna cut all of these on pieces. I mean, on these strips. So I'm gonna unfold it this way. Grab my guillotine because it will be more easy to do. I do have all these collections scattered on pieces. Uh, I do have them already on my Etsy. I forgot to say that. They are there listed separately. Uh, for the smallest price, Etsy let me to, to make a listing. And then to make it even better, I put them, all of them, into one uh, pack, which is for half price then if you will buy them separately. All links will be down below. So, once you do have all these strips cut out, fussy cut out, take your distress ink. Again, grab your sewing machine if you do like sewing, uh, sewing effect on your project. Grab some stamps, maybe washi tapes. Decorate these strips the way you want. You always see uh, what will be visible on your paper clip. So, the number here, the quote here. And of course tap so all these three parts will be visible so you know where to concentrate with your decorations do your decorations i'm gonna grab only distress ink because i would like to show you how they look as they are only what i'm gonna take it's the corner punches i think these two this one which cuts uh, those street street cutting and this one which makes the corners uh, curved so i'm gonna use just these and then i will come back and i'm back before <laughs> my distressing i actually realized that i can also show you how you can punch all four corners so here on those roses i would like to have it just like a tack so maybe here i will put an eyelet but the edges will be punched just here and inside will be paper clip so it will be only like a tuck and there will be also space where I can stamp or 
where I can put uh, maybe some small note. So that will be the roses. With this one, I was more thinking about uh, kind, kind of like a ticket or so. For that, I can take circle punch for this because that will be on the top. Take my circle punch. I'm going to grab a smaller one. This is three eighths, three eighths of inch EK Success paper punch. I do have folded the tap and I'm going to slide the paper kind of like with this top corner or top of the corner in the middle and punch. Opposite one and punch. And once here will be paper clip, it will look this way. And if I want to have this shape here as well, I'm just going to hold it here and do exactly the same. Punch. And punch. So that way I will have this part of my paper clip shaped like a ta uh, ticket. And I'm going to do same on that opposite side. Here I already have it punched that way. So now just these two corners. That's this one. Same way if I will decide to have rounded corners. I think I'm going to do it with the rabbits. Yeah, I think with the rabbits I will like that. So again, I'm going to start with this top tap. And I'm going to be punching with that middle one. Punch. And punch. So I do have that top. If I want to have rounded corners here on the bottom, I'm just going to grab that bottom. And punch those two co two corners like this. So that will be here on this side. And if I will want to have these corners here, I'm just going to hold it, unfold everything else and punch these corners. So that way all these shapes will be rounded. So once you have cut out this dress, maybe sewn, maybe the glue there, some labels and stickers. Once you do have all this uh, prepared on the strips you prepared, <laughs> you just need to take paper clip. And here I'm going to show you that I'm going to take these small paper clips and it works same like when I worked with this large paper clip. You do have here a few designs. So here is that middle fold that it's going folding these two sides together, you're gonna slide the paper clip in there. If you are using this small one, I think it doesn't matter which way you will go. It can fit on both sides. Then you're gonna take a glue, apply glue on one side. I'm always going with this uh, top side first. So applying glue on that side, glue it together. If you know that you will want to put here eyelet, just move your paper clip on the side. It doesn't matter that it will be on the side. It will still hold your paper as a paper clip. So you will have bigger space here for eyelet. I'm not going to put eyelet here. I'm going to keep my paper clip in the middle. Then I'm going to put the glue here. Fold this, no, fold first, <laughs> sorry, fold the tap and fold this over. And let it dry. I'm going to take bone folder, flip it with that longer side on the table and I'm going to press. And flip it this way and press that other side and I do have my rose rose paper clip
I do have all my paper clips done and I'm gonna show you very quickly how they do looks like on the pages so this is that stationery collection there is one which is uh, like portrait uh, oriented it looks like this it does have small note area and here are the others so you can see how it looks like over the edge of your page and how big space uh, makes that tap and this one here I do have the quotes with white and black uh, print so it's here and I really like this darker area which is peeking out here Here we do have roses, they are uh, portrait oriented, so they are perfect on the top uh, side of your journal pages. Here I do have rabbits. And again, they are uh, designed to be on the top of your pages. And one more. Here I do have those uh, that negative uh, look of the same quoted and numbered paper clips. So these are perfect for some very grungy style of journal. And one more. This one. Here is a collection with birds and they are again portrait top. A page designer and I've got there four uh, top page designer and also I forgot for top page and three side page designer so like this here I do have beautiful typewriters. They are all uh, top side designed. Yes. And of course as I showed you, you can create your own. Just use your imagination. Enjoy that process because these hidden, uh, hidden paper clips are perfect to create. They are easy to make. You can use any kind of stamps and stencils and you can do sewing. Uh, you can add there uh, some mixed media. Uh, mixed media techniques just enjoy it you can do so many layers on these you can even make it like a pocket and hang there some embellishment as i said uh, they will be listed separately but also as a huge collection to give you you know to give you option that you can choose which you like if you like any or you can buy them uh, for better price all of them thank you so much for jumping in today thank you so much for spending your time with me have a beautiful day take care about yourself and i will see you soon bye